G'day, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and today it's another quick YouTube uh, uh, show and tell tip tutorial. And again, it comes from a viewer's question from a recent video. I believe it was a video on social media links on channel art. And that viewer was Donna, thrilling stories, and we can go have a look. That it should pop up on the on the screen right now. She asked a question, she says, I have a question for you. There is a song I'd like to use for the opening of my videos. The song is Flashing Lights Instrumental. How can I find it in YouTube approval without a strike? Thank you. And I asked some questions about and, and pointed uh, uh, Donna to where the YouTube music policies are located. So you can do a quick search on your song that you'd wish to use. And we're going to show you real quick right now how to do that. And here uh, you can see that I've pointed Donna to the right direction, but we're going to do a walkthrough because I said, hey, I'm going to turn this into a video. So let's do that right now. So let's head on over and you can see here I'm already on YouTube. So I'm just going to go firstly to my creator studio. You can see uh, we're in the old school creator studio and down the bottom of the list here is create. We're going to click on that really quick. And then we get the, of course, the audio library where you can use copyright free songs, absolutely free as provided by YouTube, which is always handy. But you can see just below, there's a option called music policies. So we're gonna click on that. And here it says, this directory lists songs and their current policies set by copyright holders. Now you can learn more by clicking this blue link here, learn more. Uh, we're not going to go into that today, but if you want further reading about what YouTube's done to put this list together and everything, you can check that out. But let's let's search for something. Let's search. Now, you can search by a song title or you can search by uh, the artist. Say you're not quite sure exactly what the song title is, that uh, makes it handy. You can search by the artist if you know the artist's name. So let's pick something that some everybody knows. So let's go Michael Jackson because, you know, because you can. And this doing a bit of a search. This is going to start pulling up songs that are about, are by, or related to Michael Jackson. And you can see there's some classic ones here. Beat It, Thriller. Let's look for a Michael Jackson song that I have heard of. Rock With You. Classic uh, song from the 80s, of course. Now, all you have to do is, when you find the song that you're looking for, you just click on the little arrow down here. And it's going to pop up. It says... Okay, these are the options you have. If you're using this song, playback, viewable worldwide, advertising, ads can appear. If you're performing a cover, so if you're using a song that's like using the original song, as like, you know, you take an actual Michael Jackson song and you're using it in your video, say backing music or something like that. So at the moment they're saying that playback is viewable worldwide. And ads can appear, and there's a little info information there you can pop out. The copyright owner of this song may monetize your video, causing ads to appear. So what this is saying is, if you use this song, they reserve the right to uh, claim the monetization on your video. So in other words, if you use Rock With You by Michael Jackson, then the copyright holder of the said song uh, can come along and say, we want the money from that, thank you very much. So they let you use the song, but you don't get any monetization yourself. It all goes to the copyright holder. And it says if you perform a cover of the song, say you perform your own version of that song, it's a similar thing. You can, it's viewable world, worldwide, but ads can also appear. So in other words, they can claim because you're using their song, it's an in intellectual property, not the, even if you're singing it, it's their, the words and the lyrics and the, and, and the melody and the, and the tune and everything is their intellectual property. So therefore they're saying, oh yeah, sure, go use it, but we're gonna claim all the monetization for ourselves. There are other options, uh, very hard to find uh, ones that have different settings. You'll find some that will just blanketly say, we're gonna issue a DMCA takedown if you use our song. So we, you know, we're not interested in monetizing, we just don't want anyone using our song. So there's that option as well. But you can check that by doing this simple search. Okay, now every, Donna said she's looking for a song called Flashing Lights Instrumental, which is very broad. I don't know who the artist is, so let's, see what this is if i can spell flashing lights and then i'll put instrumental just in case that helps there's a lot of songs with flashing lights in the title so i don't know if it's an instrumental of the kanye west version because don't forget 
songs have multiple copyrights. They had a performance copyright. They have copyright on the lyrics, copyright on the melody or tune or the music part itself. And sometimes that can be held by different people. Somebody might have written a song, but it's performed by somebody else. So, so you know, somebody like Ariana Grande, maybe she does a performance, but she didn't write the song. Somebody else has written a song. She's taken it and performed it and made it famous. So it's the Kanye West version. Let's go with that. It says that um, playback is actually blocked in 248 countries, but that's the majority of the countries in the world. So if you use the Kanye West version, it's going to probably uh, get blocked from playback in most countries, which sort of defeats the purpose of making a video, really, doesn't it? Okay, if you do a cover, it's viewable worldwide, but of course they're going to claim uh, monetization is their right to claim if they so choose. If there's a song you have in mind, you got to do due diligence if you can't. Now, the, basically the rule is if you can't find it in this YouTube thing, it means it hasn't been categorized on YouTube, so it's highly likely that the copyright holder will issue, and when they find out you've, they used your, you've used their song, will issue a DMCA takedown notice. So that, that means they'll have to take, YouTube will have to take the video down altogether. So it's likely that's the case. So err on the side of caution and don't use that track if you cannot find definitive approval to use that particular song. Well, if this video was informative or helpful to you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and check the bell so you get notified every time I post a video for you. And make sure to share it with all your prospective YouTuber friends and colleagues. Well, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'll catch you later.